What's up everybody, it is me, Heroic Larvae, and today I'm going to be doing a video on my landing bay door. Um, or hangar door, or whatever you want to call it, door. Um, because <clears throat> space is really kind of difficult to name things, considering there's no air, so it could be a landing bay, it could be a hangar, it could honestly be anything. But, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how I built this. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Sorry if you hear that banging in the background, that is my, uh, mining carriage drill thingy dropping off all its materials uh, if you want to see how I made that I will put a link in the either description or on the video right now or at the end of this video or wherever probably all of the above um, to that video but that's not what this video is about it's about making a big sliding door so how do you do that well for starters you need to look around for where your engines are if you have the thruster damage so as you can see I have an engine right here and you do, you need to uh, add out how far you can place blocks for this before it damages them and I found that it's about five or six blocks away from right about here is where it damages so that's like one two three four five six so it's about about to here so I got about double that so I was totally fine uh, so you just need to make sure that there's no thrusters or anything that are gonna blow holes in your hangar or landing bay or whatever you want to call it and yeah, and then you basically just make the space for the ships to float around and land in and stuff. So that's what I got here. I plan on adding a control panel. I actually don't even know what it takes to make those. What do these cost? A display, a computer, okay. Okay, so I plan on putting these on the the entrances here and then I put putting a door here, plan on putting a door there. But I don't have that done yet. But I do have the door done. So how this door works is you come up to the control panel on these pistons here, and these pistons are attached to the ship. Now, there's kind of a, an issue with blocks sliding past each other. As you can see, when these blocks slide by, it kind of dents it on the bottom of the piston. And that's why, as you can see here, there's a big gap. Because if you have them attached, all it does is just the piston sits there and does nothing. And then all of a sudden, the entire door just snaps off and goes floating off into space. Because they just can't be attached. Or at least anything that's attached to the piston snaps off and goes flying into space. So, uh, I don't have really a way to fix that yet. But this is... I'm, I'm sure there is a way with gravity generators or some stupid shit like that. But I just wanted a button that I could push where something would open the door and then something would close the door. Just one button and I have that now. So... I made this a little system here and if I come on over here to the control panel I have the landing bay door thing saved as a block group and I have both pistons on here and what this does if I hit reverse they both start to close as you can see pretty simple stuff um, but yeah the uh, the trick was just figuring out how I could make this pretty enclosed at least appear enclosed from the outside and um make it functional and make it um above all cheap um so yeah as you can see you can still get in get in here on foot and stuff which is why i want to make a door here in case any people decide that they want to hop in my ship in my private server in my ship even though there's literally zero people that will do that i want the feeling of it anyway so yeah bam but if you're on like a PvP server, probably wouldn't be this far anyway without being attacked. But if you do manage to get a ship like this, uh, you can put a door right here. And then obviously like password that and shit. But people just saw past it. And if, if they really wanted to get in your ship, they'll get in your ship anyways. But, you know, you can put turrets up and stuff and defend and blah, blah, blah. But this is the best way that I could find because, like I said, if blocks like get near each other, the these blocks don't like to slide past each other at all or there's there's nothing really like that implemented in the game yet hopefully there will in the future but as of right now there's not so these blocks tend to bend like this um and yeah it's just not worth repairing them because they sometimes bug out and uh this entire door is hanging on by just this block right here so if i'm gonna test that i don't really want to because this entire door like i said is hanging off by that block and i don't want that going flying off into space because this costs a lot of steel a lot of welding takes a lot of time not worth it so yeah but yeah, that's basically how this works I got a little uh, got a little lip on the bottom here 
so from the bottom it appears pretty much closed you really you can't like see really that it's not closed until you're like right here and then you realize oh I can get in and you can't fly any ships in here so you can really only fly in on foot so all these holes are pretty much solved by slapping a turret right here slapping a turret right here and slapping a turret on the opposite side and then on the top but the top is a little bit different so with this I made a little dome that went over and down here so what I plan on doing with this is I plan on putting a bunch of turrets right here on this this lip here so it'll look cool when you're flying in too because it'll be a bunch of guns and if they're like bad people then it'll be like pew pew and yeah and it's on the front of the ship so anything the ship's pointing towards the guns will be able to shoot and it'll be cool as fuck but yeah so this is what it looks like from behind when it's closed. Looks pretty cool, I think. Looks like a nice addition to the ship. This is the red crashed ship. Uh, we pretty much repaired most of the back side, and then I slapped a hanger on the front because I thought that looked fucking cool, and I was right. Not sure what these are doing like this. This is kind of bugged. Lights right there, but whatever. Not going to worry about it. So yeah, that's basically how this was made. Uh, pistons are super simple, but like I said, you can't really have two blocks touching. Because uh, it doesn't like that for some reason. Don't know why. Haven't, haven't, I didn't make the game. But yeah, I plan on putting a control panel right here. So you can control the, oops. Go ahead and chop that off. So we can... Uh, I wonder if I have this stuff for it. I don't have a display. Oh, but it's functional. Okay. So landing made door. Reverse. There we go. Look at that. Works nice. Dang. First try. Look at that. Magic. Pretty cool stuff. And then you can hop in your little ships here. Oh yeah, this ship. I'm, I plan on making a video on how to use these uh, utility ships. My welder is kind of floating away there, but uh, yeah, I plan on making a little video on this. I don't know why I still have this arm on here. I, I never plan on finishing this, so that doesn't need to be there. But yeah, I'll make a little video on uh, if, you, if you're super new to this game and you want to just like a utility ship. It's not a fighting ship. It's not anything special. Could be, I guess, adapted to one, but really this is just for... Um, going and grabbing pieces that fly off, uh, welding... You know, it's just a tool, basically. Finding or saving people that are floating off into space and their suits dying. You know, it's just a just a basic ship. Uh, nothing really fancy about it. So, yeah, I plan on making a video on that. Uh, probably put that in the description at the end and blah, 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 if I already have it made by then. And, uh, yeah, so you can go ahead and... Oops. Fire this bitch up. Go ahead and... Take her on out of the hangar. And... I'm not sure if there is yet, but if there ever is, I will definitely add a remote way to do this. I have the remote control in the back of my ship here, but I'm not sure how that really works. Remote control. Yeah. I don't really I don't really know how that works. I have a as you can see like right right there, I have remote control on the big ship, so I don't know. I don't know if there's a way to do that. Control the ship through whatever. But if I can ever figure out a way, I will do that. And I'll probably have like an annotation on how to do it. Or maybe I'll make an update video or I don't know if I ever figure that out. But I will have a way if I can figure it out to close it from here. But until then, it pretty much just stays open or I have somebody else close it. I guess I could put another control panel right on the outside game froze for a second there. Uh, so yeah, I guess I could put this right here, and then weld it on. And then close it, and then go back to my ship. But that's kind of lame, you know? I'd like to be able just to fly away, or I don't know, something. Something better than that. But that's what I got so far. You got the basic door down. If you can figure out better ways to do it, then just, you know, sub substitute that but uh, yeah, this is the basic door. Pretty cool stuff. Um, yeah, so if this uh, helped you guys out, uh, be sure to crush that like button as always. Subscribe if you really like it, uh, like my content, want to see more of this shit, and be updated whenever I upload it. 
And, uh, yeah, that about wraps that up. I'm gonna go ahead and try to improve this shit some more, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!